Zambia is a landlocked country in the southern part of Africa that is blessed with diverse wildlife, safari areas, and natural resources. Like many other countries, Zambia has suffered the effects of climate change, posing a threat to the ongoing efforts of combating poverty, reduced food insecurity, and managing of natural resources. Zambia has been experiencing increases in temperature, extreme weather, resulting in floods and drought, and increased rainfall variability. We believe in doing our part in reducing the potential of further damaging the earth. We believe in climate justice for all. This is the third in a series of short films produced by Climate Justice for All. A climate-focused, youth-led, global compared which seeks to mobilizing the Methodist family on issues of climate justice. Within these films, we will be regarding how Methodists all around the world are experiencing and responding to the climate crisis. We will meet communities on the front lines of this unfolding catastrophe and we will see how they are adapting to this changing world. We will meet people who are trying to make changes to prevent further destruction, both locally and internationally. And we will reflect on the roles churches and Christians can and should be taking to achieve climate justice for all. And in this film, We'll be focusing on the context of Zambia. We will look at how many people have been affected by floods and drought due to climate change. I visited three provinces in Zambia, being Eastern Province, Southern Province, and Luapula Province. These provinces are each facing the effects of climate change. Most parts of the eastern province of Zambia, such as Mfue and Chama districts, tend to experience floods during the rain season, which in unfortunate instances cuts the towns away from the province as bridges get washed away by the rains. In southern province, where you will find a lot of livestock farmers, they have been experiencing droughts due to climate change. I visited a village called Nzambale in Kanchindu area of Mamba district. This is a village that has been experiencing drought for a while. Nzambale village in rainy season floods, but within a shortest period of time, the water dries up, resulting into drought which poses as a threat to humans and livestock. <laughs> The man be that man's in Gagatasso, Yagapolis, a man's. If I indica shown to be you, I mean, in Yaga Yuma, we will mumble you to Tavania with him for a pet. No problem, go to this one. In Yaga so, Yatambula man's fast, I mean, I am a fast. Eh, all who nobody mimbo of a day. Moreover, I'm wonder why. I took what to the more to land it out with Tavia. Due to drought that the area experiences, there has been animal-human conflict when it comes to drinking of water, as both humans and animals drink from the same water source. I'm going to go to the 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 water source. I'm going to go in Masa district of Luapula province, a lot of farmers have experienced damages to their produce due to uncertain rainfall patterns. 
I spoke to some farmers who explained how their crops fell to germinate due to the change in rainfall patterns. This I further spoke to a fisherman at Guapula River who explained to me how the rainfall pattern affects their fishing. The overall objective of the Zambian national policy on climate change is to provide a framework for coordinating climate change programs in order to ensure climate resilient and low carbon development pathways for sustainable developments towards the attainment of Zambia's Vision 2030. And so, it is everyone's responsibility to take up necessary steps that will reduce the potential of further damages to the earth. The United Church of Zambia, in response to humanitarian crisis caused by climate change effects, have over the years been providing food relief and other essential to the affected communities in eastern, southern, and western parts of Zambia. This has been with the support and collaboration with the government of the Republic of Zambia through the Disaster Management and Mitigation Unit the global ministries in the United States of America, the Methodist Church in Britain, the United Church of Canada, World Renew, Christian Aid of Zambia, and ACT Alliance. The church is indebted to this support because, indeed, this crisis requires collaborative efforts.